or low seeds in that first round. Right. <laughs> were, you, were you in that same? Yeah, 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 I okay. was there. Okay. But I, it's just how the placing is. I'm pretty sure I was still next to you. Like, looking at the bracket, I didn't check the placings. But anyways, getting to the match here, we have winner's finals. We have Shep Dog's Chin versus Carl's 493. But uh, <clears throat> the start here, just a little bit of footsies, no crazy combos or anything like that. Nice explosive lighting on the spacing here. Good job on Carl to just walk or run up a little bit and then just shield. Nice little one two there for uh, F smash from Carl's there as well. But both of these guys play the same spacing game. While Shulk has a slightly slower uh, frame data than, like, say, Lucina, Marth, Roy, Krom, he has that giant hitbox. And especially with shield and jump, certain attributes will definitely make him quicker, while Palutena is just kind of a... Like, her staff is actually kind of short, and at least in this matchup. Mm -hmm. And it's just more, she's just trying to abuse her frame data, just get in there like that, where she just wants to get up close and personal. But if he does want to camp her, she does have her explosive flame as well as her... Uh, Unfortunately, I do not have any Nice oh. read. And the taunt for style points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta taunt not to disrespect your opponent, but just to calm down. And Ship Dog is kind of played like I am, where we just kind of always lose to Carl's. So it's a good start for him. He's got best of five, though, so he has a long hill to climb. And it definitely seems more uphill, while Carl's is more just treading water right now. It's maybe like five feet deep. Nothing too crazy, you know. Jump. All right, shooting analogies aside. <laughs> Palutena is starting to play a little bit uh, campier, sort of. Yeah, she's definitely trying to exercise her. Uh, Ooh. Ooh, the combos. Jump. Oh man, that shield is actually yeah. That, that's not good right now. <laughs> yeah, it, shield is such a double-edged sword where you don't want to do it. Oh my gosh, that was such a good low profile, just staying in the magnifying glass. Yeah, as I was saying, Shield Monado is just always such a double-sided sword where if people are actually cautious of, oh, I hit him a little bit in the blender. Nice back here from Carl, stealing that first stock. Um, you know, just a little difficult, but 20 seconds, 30 seconds later on my point, <laughs> getting back into the match here. Uh, so far, Shep just kind of holding the lead, not really needing to go forward. Yep, just playing it safe, not to put uh, himself in a disadvantage, disadvantageous position. And some big words there. And wow, we got and a up upset there, we'll for take it. I'm going to readjust the camera while this is going on right now. Taking a victory vape. Start the battle. Joker. And we see the pocket joker. A very popular thing of Columbus is there's no joker mains, just pocket joker mains. Which is interesting because other regions sort of picked up that Joker is just pretty good, easy to pick up kind of character. He doesn't have to be the best. Although there are some people that just want to scream that he's the best. I think that's one of them. Um, <clears throat> I mean, how else are you going to be the next MK Leo? I know, right? Joker? Yeah, MK Leo just likes characters with swords. He just has a dagger. He just wanted to give himself a challenge. Yeah, sort MK Leo isn't good. It's all Joker. Yeah, obviously. Like, I don't know. He's never performed well. I, I don't get it, really. But getting back to this match, I see that camera reposition now is mostly just the picture of his corgi on his face. Nice. Not gonna lie, it's a lot cuter than before. <laughs> it was just his chin button. Nice uh, wave dash from Carl's, sort of faking out that he'd go up and go down. Right, see how the first stock. Right now, he's just kind of stalling his recovery. And when I thought Chef Duck, he definitely had a little bit of difficulty with my Joker, whether it's just a tough matchup or he just doesn't know it. I'm not sure, unfortunately. But at the moment, Carl's just looks like a brand new person on Joker so far. 
Chuck Dog also despises this character, so. Combination of all the fun stuff. Dancing around with their aerials, trying to yeah, this is quite the dance. ship some damage in there. Nice teleport, getting himself out of the back air range. Man, that back air is so fast. You can see that hitbox is just so nasty, it makes you afraid. See, like, yeah, just a quick turn. Back that are not quite taking it yet. Trying to two frame with up smash. Trying to trump the Palatina didn't quite work right there. So far, just very cautious game. Shep kind of collected himself at the very beginning. Oh, Pear takes it. Of his second stock, he was definitely having some difficulty here, but um, 122 percent. Yeah, a little bit to work uphill for, but I have a feeling the difference between his last stock is going to be a huge difference unless uh, Carl's pulls something out right now. Because it looks like uh, Ship Dog's getting his download complete. Ooh, waited out that uh, counter from Joker. And if I wanted to give Carl's advice, even though I just placed like ninth or something, and he's a contention for top three, my advice would be to just mix up, be a little more like don't respect his down beat there. Like he just he kind of uses it as a panic option, not as an option. Back throw, still not taking it. Uh, Unsolicited advice from the poor, poor player here. <laughs> nice up air, that last hit. If that didn't work out, he definitely would have lost his stock there. Also, an interesting counter pick for Joker. Uh, his uh, forward beat does not quite work as well on this stage. I understand it's not a great thing. But it, Battlefield might have been right here. Oof. I think... Yeah, just Palutena on Triplats. Yeah. Tri yeah, Palutena on Triplats, too. That's a, a decision. Palutena can get a back throw here. Both from our back throw range here. Ray, full rage dash attack. Still not taking it on this stage of all. <laughs> all stages. Except keeping it real safe. Nice oh, back there throw. There we go. Yeah, right. th there's that adaptation. Carlos has got to do something a little different here. A lot of people sleeping on Rage, but it really does help. It was like a, I want to say it was like a 10% nerf from four to ultimate. I, I thought it was 15% down to 10. Yeah, 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 that sounds right. 1.15 to 1.1. It 1. happens later too, though. Like 40% was like, the, or 30 or 40% was sort of the, the nerf. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got the, got the Inborn ability. Actually got him, uh, saved him there from the nair. Chef just trying to find his way down here, also trying to uh, stall that 30 second Aga. If you do not uh, hit him, it's 30 seconds long. Both characters have really good up air screens. Both trying to capitalize on that while on the while the other is stuck on the top platform. He just mm. gun not quite reaching. Chef just plays completely different compared to when, uh, you know, Joker turns into the best character in the game when he uh, gets his uh, persona out there. Wow. Carl's was looking for the hes hesitation, and uh, Chef Dog just throws that back here. The nail biter. Carl's is definitely having a lot more of an advantage of the stock. He's definitely doing an amazing job. Oh, no explosive lightning to a uh, dash attack. That happened like three or four times now. Nice parry, just continuing shield afterwards. Nice recognizing that it was not a, just a single hit. Oh, oh F tail turnaround. Nice Red to job. get up. We are 1 1. We are even count. And, uh,. I'm gonna turn myself up a smidge. There we go. So, it's interesting. I would say the last stage was definitely a good Palutena stage. While this, I would say, is one of Joker's best stages, just because he has so much room to work. But... I missed which one they, they chose. Kalos. Is it 1-1 right now? 
Yeah, one more. Three, so, two, I was gonna one, say this is a good stage, but I guess uh, the Shulk responds here. Maybe Carlos doesn't feel good with Joker anymore, or maybe he just doesn't like the stage. But uh, that smash looked like a mistake, trying to get in hit stun. Maybe I was trying to go for shield. If I'm not mistaken, that should be right next to each other in the Monado list. Uh, nope, actually. He was going for Buster. Yeah, Joker can't really make as much use out of these platforms as uh, either of the triplats, which I think feels like something Carl's would want to uh, be looking for for that. Not really any Joker play. You want to get those up B strings? a lot more difficult to do it on uh, these side platforms here. Well, this is uh, Palatina's counterpick. Or are you saying it's I'm harder I'm saying that's Joker? why he wouldn't want to go Joker. Oh, uh, okay. I was going to say, I like it just because there's so much room to work with Joker because he's so fast. But at the same time, Chef Dog does have a lot of good spacing tools, so maybe he doesn't feel confident in a one-on-one -on -one spacing match. Nice scoop from the Carls here, feeling it a little bit with his taunt. That's uh, about a five-year-old overused joke at the moment. Nice back air, up taunt response. Chipped up trying to pick up the combo with uh, Shield Monado, but unfortunately doesn't quite know the timing. I don't blame him. I'm not sure. I think he's heavier than Bowser in Shield Monado, so it, the timing is very unique that if you just want to have a, you know, Carl is only Shulk player. So if you really want to, like, practice this, you're only going for a Vendetta against this player. Yeah, but even in Shield form, I, it's almost impossible to kill no matter what percent. Like. Just about, yeah. I mean, he's heavier than Bowser. So yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Smash in the fourth throw. Mm -hmm. So right now, Carl's is definitely just sort of freestyling on the stage. Definitely all the space to do everything right now. You know, jump speed. I know Carl's favorite speed over jump, but he'll use jump mostly for the kills. But yeah, he's just running around right now. And Chip Dog's having just trouble just trying to find a response, just trying to find some defensive options. Nice scoop there. It's got to take a little bit. Nice, nice recovery. Notice Carl is a fan of the reverse up B kill. Oh, just unfortunately failed execution on there. Nice wait from Chef Dog to try and turn this around. Yeah, he's got to. Uh, Carl's trying to seal the jail here with jump, not try and risk anything with smash here. Looks like a mistake of Buster, maybe just trying to uh, not get thrown back too far at his 80%, because Buster does make him a little slightly heavier. Oh, and the SD. Yeah, there was a little O coming down from Chef Dog there. I, I, I don't blame him. That, that looks like a mistake. So, Chef does have a little bit of difficulty here. Well, I mean, other than mental posture, which is at least my advice, what what do you think needs to change on Palatina's side? Like, what do you think? Uh, I think a really good counter pick. Uh, Carl's has just impeccable spacing with Shulk and all of his different... Uh, I mean, the, the sword goes like half of Yoshi's yeah. story, like half that stage. So even if he was bad at spacing, he still probably hit but not get hit all right and we're going to match point here for Shep dog hopefully he can uh, get himself together here because it was looking like a very exciting set game one but uh it still it still is an exciting set though he's still holding his own it's just sometimes when there's certain moments where Shep dog just sort of feels too afraid that yep. instead of like dodging, he actually could just throw something out. Because you might just get punished the same, but it's better to just throw something out than give them a free hit. Because I think if you air dodge, I was looking like F smash in the time that you air dodge, and it would hit him. Like, it's just the timing, all that. Yeah, again, I'm not too familiar with Schultz, so I'm not sure what, uh, which of his moves are that punishable. Oh, I know. It, it always feels it's like you're just, sort of getting them a little bit here, but it's just the position that you can hit them and the Monado. So 
it's kind of it's kind of like Pokemon Trainer where you have to learn three different matchups. Well, you have to learn like four or five different, different matchups. Monados. Yeah, just different Monados, different hits. Same character, same hitboxes. So you don't have to learn something new, but you know, yeah. you still have to adjust accordingly. Mm -hmm. Because Shulk has a really good jump recovery when he has jump active. Jump. Come on. Nice avoid from go. the air slash. Oh, that Lilac counterpicking saving him. He would have lost his life there. Hey, and that zero lag. Just, oh, that stinks. Yeah, definitely a lot of difficulty just punishing. Sometimes you gotta go just for the jabs, but I mean, if you miss a jab, you also might die. <laughs> it's just the whiff grab going on. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Okay. I thought I was muted this whole time for a second. No, 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 you're good. Yeah, the light should be something else, but no. Yeah. Oh, that's just how these uh, wonderfully expensive Amazon microphones that totally don't look like kids' toys. What even brand? Wait, is this part of the headset? Yeah, this is part of the headset. What brand is this? I don't know. Look up cheap headset on Amazon. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> the wolf icon? By the way, I have a sponsored affiliate link, manicreekgaming.com slash Amazon. Okay. Um, all right. We're losing uh, track here on this match. Racing change. Yeah. I am sponsored by Seven, so I should probably figure that out, how to, like, put that up. <laughs> but getting back to the game here. Hey, um, that up, too. Man, we, we, we've lost it a little bit this match here, but, yeah, it's just... Carl's kind of dancing right now. He's just trying, uh, checked out trying to find an answer. Um, oh, trying to go for the bold down air. I respect that just because, you know, game's evened up. If not, you know, it's going to win because of that. Nice and air. Almost got him with the jump there. Jump does make Shulk slightly lighter. Nothing too much. Like, I know a lot of combos don't get variated too much. So that, that could have done it. Just would have been some crazy, crazy jank. Nice fair, oh, nice no. DI from Shet Dog. Shet Dog. Shet Dog. Jeez. <laughs> yes, Valentina is at a high enough percent that even uh, speed to get in and just hit with anything is most likely take it. But other that than one was a smash. Oh, such good patience from Shet Dog. Unfortunately, he does not get rewarded, and he just jumps out of it. Yeah, that's the most frustrating thing. Is Carl's is just. He's so slippery with everything he plays, every game. He just knows when to dodge, and it's just infu infuriating. Like, it, it works for most characters where, like, you come down from invincibility, you just wait, you're like, hey, roll, roll. And then, like, the roll or the spot dodge, you just punish it. Carl's is just, like, he'll do that, but, like, sometimes he, like, mixes it up a little bit, like he does with a mini hop. Uh, for, for the most part... If I was a better player, I'd be able to to actually follow through with this, but I see Carl's is happy. Oh, his, he, that's his, probably his biggest difficulty is Carl's habits are very obvious. He's a very bre bread and butter player, so like, it's frustrating to lose to it because you know what he's doing, but he's just slippery, he mixes it up just slightly. He never air dodges at the same time every time. Almost taken. All right, so there's three throw options that uh, Carl's has if he gets it. I think Shulk's back throw, forward throw. Nice parry. Did not get anything out of that. Like, that's just... Oh. Yeah, that's one thing a lot of players don't uh, don't specifically practice is what you can get out of parry instead of just a regular field. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, that's got him. And that's, that, that's it. That's the set. Carl's takes winner's finals. And Sitting happy. Top two. Boom goes the dynamite. So, so what's that a reference to that you had to you had to say that? <laughs> really, 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 really.